But yeah, so those are, man. those are my, my fishing stories. Okay, uh, how do I run? Yeah, you don't, you just walk. If you press shift, right. you start walking slower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just what I want. <laughs> Boop. Boop -de -doop. I'm, I'm up to nine fish, three seaweeds, one soggy newspaper, and trash. Yeah, that's great. That's a good fish. Ooh, two soggy newspapers. That's a good fishing day if I've ever seen one. I have six right. bath bass. So I got. And I have fish. fifteen parsnips. So I'm gonna expand our uh, crop area. Yeah. I've. I also bought ten parsnip seeds. So if you want to make ten extra spots, I can plant those after. More seaweed. Yay me. Yeah, I'm gonna make us a buttload of cash with all these fish. You just wait. Yeah, you're gonna be my sugar daddy. Hell yeah. If I could be a sugar daddy by fishing, like, I know, I'm, right? I'm not it's sure I'd crazy. say no to that. <laughs> all right, I think 11 fish is enough for tonight. I need to yeah, find it's... my way home. Hi, who are you? I tried to fish you. Oh well. Hey, we're gonna meet. Yeah, that's crazy. Just took an hour. Yeah. Hey, what's up? I I planted your parsnips. Ooh. Oh, okay, you took them from the chest. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Did you did you take your package from from inside your yeah. house that I kept trying to steal? So I so I planted 50, uh, 25 parsnips. Cool. Perfect. Now we need to go to bed. Yeah. Alright. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Why do you have the cool ass house and I have like a shed? Because you're my bitch. Yeah, that, uh, yeah that's, that's totally fair. Right? Oh, it's spring. To our valued Jojo, Mar Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operations. So, okay, Jojo Mart, uh, I'm getting the evil corporation vibe from them. Am I wrong in thinking this? No, it's totally that. Like, I mean, it's the um, it's the old like uh, small town, uh, big, mar big like corporal mall trying to buy type. the whole town. Yeah, basically. So it it's that kind of story. So. And yeah, I mean, you're and the theme of the game is that you're trying to get away from it, right? In the beginning of the game, it says like you're from yeah. the city, but like things didn't work well, so you're trying to start something fresh and new uh, in the countryside. So like, obviously, the enemy is gonna be uh, the people trying to bring the cities, like the city, to the countryside. Yeah. It's also like very similar to uh, like themes that you can find like in Tolkien of like uh, uh, industrialism being the evil. I those you don't need to because oh, yeah. um, you can you we can harvest them. Ooh. So yeah, fuck that Mart, and uh, we're just gonna grow some parsnips. Cool. Um, I got an acorn. This can be planted to grow an oak. Oh tree. yeah, keep yeah, keep that shit. Keep it or plant it. Uh, well, keep it for now because uh, we're gonna do like, uh, well, on, on, I mean, depending on how you want. But like right now, I feel like we probably want to more like clear more plate, more stuff. But then eventually, we're gonna want to have like a um, space for trees. Okay. Like an organized space for trees. Okay. Did you? I just... mean, if you want to plant it in the place that like right now, if you want to set it up like all the way to the left, then that's totally fine. Ah, uh, uh, put it in the chest, it's fine there. There's also recipes you can do, like, in, like, cook acorn. Ooh. Deforestation is cool. Yeah! Did I tell you the time my mom forced me to do, like, a big-ass, like, super boner presentation about, um, deforestation? No. Like, it, it was in sixth grade, um... I was supposed to do a presentation on deforestation. Okay. But like, my mom forced me to add like 20 pages of images and descriptions of all the like uh, tools and 
heavy machinery used in the process. And okay. like it made it seem like in the present our presentation later on as if like I was like, oh yeah, and that truck. Oh my god. Okay. It <laughs> tore the tree off and oh so good. And like the con the, like the, the teacher was like, wow, you really like those trucks, eh? And I'm like, not really, man. I'm not I'm not a truck guy at all. <laughs> no, I've I've never uh, perceived you as a truck guy. <laughs> no, I'm not. Not like my eldest child. He's a very truck guy. Oh, yeah? Oh, boy, I am super tired. Oh, shit. Yeah, me too. Like I didn't a... realize we were just cutting trees all day long. Yeah, I can't um, move faster than this. I require sustenance, I believe. Uh, no, you require sleep at this point. But I, I, I saw that like if I could eat fish, it would give me more energy and health. But I, oh, okay. I, but I don't have food, so I guess I need to go to sleep. Well, let's go to sleep then. We, we had a hard day. Well, I'll, although I can continue a bit working. Well, I'll, it's, cut, it's... One, I'll cut one extra tree. <laughs> All right. My kids never, uh, so far anyways, haven't had a, a truck phase. Uh, but my youngest is in a gigantic dinosaur phase. <laughs> Right, right, I remember you telling me that. That's like, cool. He he knows, he's two years old, and he knows the like the actual names of at least six different dinosaurs. That's great, I can't remember, like, I used, like, I, you remember, like, we both had a oh, yeah. huge dinosaur phase. Oh, yeah. And, like, I, we, like, we used to know the names of all the, like, and, like, uh, actually, that's a, a Plantitopka Athnototaurus. Oh, yeah, we uh, were super smart asses about that. <laughs> very different from a Placodoc Placodoc <laughs> which doesn't even exist in this era of the, uh, Pleiosaurus <laughs> era. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly the way that my two-year-old is currently speaking. Ooh, make a thousand Ooh. bucks. We made a thousand bucks. Ooh. Yeah, half from farming, half from fishing. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're just another thousand dollars away from one backpack. What was that Ooh, noise? Don't worry about it. That's the countryside. There's the. The Migo and the Deep Ones and the Great Race of Yith. Oh, okay. And and the Wendigos. Uh, I'm gonna cut that tree. Oh, man, it's in the that. way. I hate it. All right. I thought it was decorative, but whatever. I guess my opinion doesn't matter. Fuck that tree. No, oh, it's off centered. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's. There seems to be four squares in between our houses, so I don't think there's a way to have it centered, unfortunately. Four, four trees, that's the only way. Maple seed? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't oh. know these things were were things. I'm going to dig oh, them yeah. all up. Oh, yeah. So many maple, maple seeds Oh, dude, we're going to have a maple farm. Hell, yeah. That's the best. Cabana à sucre. <laughs> I am. I have to admit, though, I am a huge fan of maple. Oh yeah, maple's great. <laughs> maple products are life. Which tools are you supposed to use for the, like the the, the earth tool like this or? For what? Uh, I I'm using an axe right now. The axe okay. seems to be doing most of the things. Like, it works. <laughs> I don't know if it's the uh, the most appropriate tool, but it works. For the acorn? Like shit like that? Yeah, yeah. See? This, no, it this didn't give me anything. No? Well, it gave me things. I guess you're just doing it wrong. Um, that I did get a plus one axe proficiency, so maybe that's why. Oh, sorry. Maybe I'm just better and you need to get good but i don't know yeah, that is very possible yeah we can plant maple uh, maple trees and then uh, uh craft um those uh thing you jab in them oh yeah 
So, oh, so, so maple is actually an option, like to. Oh yeah, and it, it gives you the big bucks. Awesome. Then yeah, let let's fucking do that. Yeah, um, in my personal game, like I had the crops, like the seasonal crops, but like my main like day-to-day uh, -to -day money was like uh, making mayonnaise and maple. <laughs> <laughs> An odd mix, but all right. How yeah. about maple-flavored mayonnaise? Mm. Doesn't. S um. Mm. Uh, I don't, don't know. knock it till you try it. No, I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. Before I run out of energy, I'm gonna go do a bit of fishing. Sounds good. I'll leave the sh ship uh, fishing to, to you. It's, it's gonna kill me then. I don't Ooh, know geodes. why I enjoy fishing in games. Like, like, the system for fishing in this one is very hard, but I still enjoy just catching fish. I don't know why. Yeah, no, that's that's totally fair. And I mean, I remember remember we went on fishing trips in wow that 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 was fun yeah definitely i loved fishing in wow for some reason oh wow the, the, yeah the fishing in wow is great i like it it's very simple but it still requires a little bit of uh, a little bit of speed attention. a little bit of skills yeah yeah it was just a perfect balance i feel and, and fishing was my favorite thing to do in animal crossing too when i was playing mm. last year just going shark fishing I don't know, I oh. had so much fun doing that. <laughs> cool. And it, it was just so silly too in Animal Crossing, because like, you're fishing and you, you throw in your line and just waiting for a bit and then poof, you catch a great white shark and it's just like, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, like, that's the thing with those like, um, sandbox games, right? There's a little bit of everything for everyone. Yeah. And that, that's why they're so appealing. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes, I mean, you're gonna wake up like in just one day and be like, "Okay, today uh, I'm gonna plant shit. Today I'm gonna cut some trees. Today I'm gonna craft stuff. Today I'm gonna go in the dungeon and get some coal, like and iron. Like that's it's just like this game all has valid a bit options. of everything. Yeah, and it just like not only is it tailored to how different people want different things, but it's also how uh, different people want different things at different times, mm -hmm. and that's really cool. Like when we when we were playing Animal Crossing, uh, my girlfriend and I were playing on the same island, but since we were on the same Switch, we couldn't play at the same time. Um, but like she would take care of all the aesthetic stuffs because I, I don't I don't really care about that. Uh, <laughs> but I would be the the collectioner for the museum and finding all the bugs and things like that because that's that's what I I prefer. So right. it was kind of funny. Come on. Come on. No, come back. Yeah. Uh, oh, what is that? A shad. 29 inches. You're a big fella. Big Chad. Big Chad for big boys. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, perfect run. For another Chad. Bigger Chad. 32 inch Chad. That's one mighty Chad. You're doing this on purpose, are you? Doing what? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a big Chad. 32 <laughs> inches. <laughs> oh yeah. Big Girthy Chad. Ah, uh, what the hell? Throbbing hell's that? Chad. <laughs> Big throbbing Chad. <laughs> oh no, I'm starting to feel exhausted. No. One more I'm fish. Going to One more oh, fish. And, uh, watching TV is important too. Oh, why? Um, the Queen of yeah. Sauce is gonna teach you recipes. Okay. Uh, the weather report is gonna tell tells you something. I think it tells you when it's good to um, plant crops or harvest them. That makes some amount of sense. No, no, no. The fortune teller is gonna. It says like, oh, it's your lucky day. Then you can harvest them, and they're gonna have a better chance of being high quality. Yeah, like I, I've like my big girthy Chad has a little yellow star beside it, so I guess that makes it better than other Chads. Yeah, yeah that means it's uh, better quality. Cool. 
So this might be a big money type of day for fishies. Are you in bed? I'm oh. going to turn around just watching TV. All right, I'll watch uh, the Queen of Sauce. 287 for fishing. That's less. Oh, well, I, I did have 11 fish last time, so I guess that's why. And can you imagine just like making $300 a day just by fishing? Dude, you're right. That's an amazing salary. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got a, a, a turnip that's ready. Oh, what are these? Potatoes! We had are they one... ready? Uh, there was no. two potatoes ready and one, uh, one parsnip. So I'll just put them in here. Want me to go get some seeds of something? Um, what time are we? Okay, so and one thing we need to keep in mind is also like uh, crops are seasonal, of course. Mm -hmm. um, that means you need to keep in mind how long they take to um, to grow fully, so that we can harvest them uh, before the, the season changes. When how because do we... they're because they're all gonna die. <laughs> how, how do we know when the season changes? Uh, each season is one month, so uh, okay. we are we are the eighth. That yeah. means we still have most of the month. So uh, unless we take one that like takes thirty days, we're gonna be fine. Okay, so I'll make it's sure. It's just that... something to keep in mind because one time uh, I lost like hundreds of dollars worth of like pumpkins or something oh, <laughs> because no. it it turned into winter. Is there a way to know, like, without having them? Um, is there a way to know how much they're gonna sell for? Um, or is it automatic that if the seed costs more, then it's worth more? Hi, Penny. I think I think that's the case. Okay, that makes sense. Who are you? You look like. But that's some Mario. like that's a kind of game that I, I still find looking at a wiki once in a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just too lazy for it. But how? Sure, let Gus in, but not me. <laughs> Asshole. I'm gonna get a bit of kale. I'm gonna get 10 kales. And. 10 cauliflower. And we are poor now. Luckily, we don't need to buy food or pay bills. Well, we have $700 in the bank account. That's yeah. more than I have right now in mine. <laughs> All right, so the, there's no um, logic to how I'm planting this. I'm just planting them. That's fine. Eventually, we can build like little um, little posts that that, and then you can uh, indicate uh, where which crops goes where. Sounds good. When you want to organize your stuff. All right. So what now? Um, I have only a little bit of energy left. Can um, I fish in this pond? I. I'm sure you can. I'm just gonna go walk around. I'm supposed to talk with strangers. Oh yeah, you didn't greet anybody yet. No. So did you find a love interest? I uh, haven't decided yet. Keeping my options open, you know, playing the field. Yeah, playing it cool. Yeah. Playing it cash. Being a big girthy Chad. Of 32 inches. Damn straight. That just sounds painful to be honest. Oh, hello girl. How are you? Who are you talking to? Haley. I didn't know Haley knew photography. That's that's pretty cool. Which one's Haley? Oh, that's the uh, the Barbie girl, right? Yeah, Barbie girl. That's nice. Yeah. Well, that's, that wasn't the right time. I didn't know she had hobbies. <laughs> well, there Look, you there's go. this fishing spot with uh, bubbles. Coming! Do bubbles mean that there's a fish? <laughs> I'll find out for you. Because you don't have a fishing rod, you pleb. Hey, Haley. Oh. There's bubbles over here. I, I unfortunately can't aim straight into the... Oh, wait. Of course I can. I just have to go on the bridge. Yeah, just be better. Oh, Haley's taking pictures of me while I'm fishing. I feel hot. Hell yeah. No! <laughs> Last time I played this game was on my honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Five-inch sunfish. That's not a girthy chad. 
Ooh, my biggest sunfish yet. I am so focused. There you go. Yeah. I haven't met Pam yet. It doesn't ring uh, a bell. Pam's horrifying. Give me Come on. your rod all hey. over. Oh my god, this sea's loud. Whew. Really? Really? Oh, I found an earth hey. crystal. Give me... Uh, give it to me. Ditch this. Pollute the earth. Ooh, big girthy chub again. Oh, did Willie give you his rod on the first time, or...? Yeah. There's a little bubbles here. Yeah, I'm running out of energy and space, though, so I might have to wait. Wow, okay. Sorry! Oh, I, thought, I thought I was building my YouTube career with uh, someone with a little bit more um, drive to him. My god, fine, let me just ditch this fish, <laughs> put them in the fucking crate, and I'll come fish your damn spot, you petty oh, it's bitch. Too, it's, it's too late now. <laughs> I'm coming back home, but we're not sleeping in the same bed. Okay, Tell fine, we're sleeping in the same bed. <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna cuddle with you. Okay, fine, <laughs> a little cuddle, but I'll be angry. Do I be the little spoon or the big spoon? I wanna be the small spoon. That's my favorite one. Like, do people actually like being like in the like the big the big spoon? I I enjoy being in the big spoon, um, because I do I'm, it too. It's just not the same. Yeah, I I'm I'm a person who gets very warm very quickly, <laughs> so yeah, that's true enough. I, I I kind of prefer the big spoon for that reason. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht. Mm -hmm. Scarecrow. You're good. Is there things that... Uh... Ooh, I can craft bait now. Is there things that are gonna attack our crops? Oh, I, I think so. And they're pain in the ass. Yeah, they can eat your seeds. That's... I, I think I think you can have like ravens and crows or shit like that. Those bitches. Ooh, we got a shite ton of parsnips. Let's uh, let's see if the fortune teller thinks it's a good, good idea to pick them. Good humor today. We have a little extra luck. Oh, okay. You want to do the honors? Yeah, well, you can help me. I guess I could. Eventually, we should uh, like have one of us that's only doing... Um, only doing, like, cows and shit. And, like, being a shepherd. And the other one only... Uh, only tilt. Damn it. Like, and sows. Then we're going to be, like, Cain and Abel. And then I'm going <laughs> to kill you with rock. <laughs> I'm not sure I like this plan. 